and welcome back to Bell's channel and today in Bell's Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough we will be doing the quest um I'll let me find it quickly we'll be doing the quest that's Murphy Country so we're going to pop to our camp at Larke Larke um and we're going to you know it's it's one of the main quests um, so we're basically just going to go speak to Dutch. Oh, yeah, we're just going to go speak to Dutch. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's about um, moving camp due to the reason the camp we're at right now is unsafe. Everyone's just talking to you about um, Dutch. So, really, what I'm going to do is just give you a quick, brief recap. So, obviously, the guys robbed the Saint Denis Bank. It went wrong. Um, Jose died, as did Lenny, and John got arrested and is now in a prison, off on an island over there he's now there Thady wants to rescue him um, as does Abigail which I think is what we're going to do it's probably a quest line that's going to open up once we move camp um, but anyway we've come back from Guam, Guam whatever it's called um, the, we were told that they left us a note at the old place Shady Bell and they told us to come here to Lake or Lake so that's where we have come um, and basically we're like, then the Pinkertons found us within five minutes. Um, we had a big shoot out, if you remember from previous videos. Um, and then we were given this quest, and another quest with Sadie Adler, who told us to meet her in St. Denise. As we've gone to meet Sadie, Arthur's like, passed out. Turns out, from doctor, he's been diagnosed with tuberculosis um, back then, which was an incurable disease. Um, which was highly contagious and basically a death sentence. So Arthur knows he's going to die. It's just a matter of when. And if you look at his journals, he has recently been talking about. Um, hold on, let's just get it back to it. He's been writing a few bits in his journals. As you can see, I ain't John Mark. It's John Mark, you fool, but he's now the mayor. Oh, hold on. No, that's something else. Next page. So, for Reed, turns out I'm not very well. Got tuberculosis. Doctor did not, did not know how long I would last. All them bullets shot at me. All them horses threw at me. All them fights. And it was beating up. It was, and it was beating up that pathetic little fella Downs that killed me, I reckon. Hmm? He's the only man I've been near was real sick. He begged for mercy and I beat the bastard and he died. And now I'm dying too. The way of the world, my mind is racing. Of course, that monk and that nun. Downs his widow, Abigail, Mary. So really it's showing you Arthur. Obviously he's found Downs, if you don't remember, if you check on my video where it says money lending, um, this was this poor man called Thomas Downs. We went to him, he was sick. We beat him up to get the cash. He died when we came back for the money. Um, and his wife and his son were leaving. We did see his wife again in St. Denis. Looks like she was picking up a fella as, a, as in a prostitute. And she called the police on us and we ran, obviously. So then we didn't see her after then. 
so that's obviously Downs' widow. So that's obviously playing in his mind. The monk and the nun, in recently a previous video we redid that one and she was talking to us. And Abigail, that's John's wife, and Mary, his ex, or his love, who he can't say anymore. So we're going to just try to give you a recap. It says, Dutch, Dutch when I first knew him, Hosea, my dead pa, the no good bastard, the whole crowd of people. Hmm? Dutch when I first knew him, Hosea, my dead pa, the no good bastard, the whole crowd of people. And what kind of man have I been? What kind of man am I? What world is this we live in? A land of fury or a place of love? Am I being prepared for eternal damnation? Am I past any kind of saving? Is that all fairy tales? Man ain't got much good in him. I ain't got no good in me. So you can see he's very much a thingied. Um, you know, he's very much deep in thought about the life he's lived. Anyway, so we're going to go speak to Dutch right now. Um, as I said, this quest is called That's Murphy Country. And it says Dutch needs to speak to you. So that's just basically what we're doing. I'm going to make sure we've got some stuff. Actually, it don't matter. I'm going to fill up my health bar really quick. Obviously, because he's got tuberculosis, you must be very careful about the food and drink you're giving him. If you give him too much, um, he begins coughing. But Arthur is a bit underweight anyway, so hopefully he'll be okay. I'm just going to use a potent miracle tonic to fill my bars up. And let's go speak to Dutch, who has actually been, since we got back from Guam, been acting very funny. So he may have got a sickness, but I think the fact, because I know in Red Dead Redemption 2, 1, sorry, he went kind of crazy, and I kind of think that was due to Arthur's death. But I don't know, I've never played it. Maybe it's before Arthur's death. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just... Well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move. But I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning the chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly, no doubt. What about the women? You sound like Jose. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we going to run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek, I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Oh God. Gang's falling apart. Be right with me. Always. 
I thought he cut his hair off then. Exactly. Murphy Brood ain't nobody to mess with. What are we doing now? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too, will it? Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. Mm, God. Now, easy boy. We need to get this done fast. Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. It is quite a ride. Um, Butcher Creek, where is that? I'm trying to think. Butcher Creek is there. Um, and Roanoke Ridge is obviously just all that area. So we're probably. I would say a good camping spot would be here. Um, but you gotta be careful because around here actually right there I believe is where a Murphy hideout is. I have killed one of them hideouts already. It was a massive cave thing. You again, you too. Yeah, let's for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Somehow. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. Where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there called Warmer. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... I guess I just miss Hosea and his... Wisdom, you know? Of course. There's the bridge. Now, we need to be careful in the Murphy country. Because these, this Murphy whatever dudes are dangerous. They set rigs on fire and bring it down to you. They just ambush you with every two minutes. They're a lot more prominent in the forest than other. That's fancy. Never seen that before. Sorry, I just got distracted. Got this night time. Oh god, where are we? We are in. Well, we are at Butcher's Creek. I have been here a few times. some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rains fall and eagle flies. The Indians. And 
I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Beaver Hollow. There it is. Oh, sorry, it was just above the A. We like literally riding up that way. Don't forget your guns. I wonder why we're following them really. I suppose we just need to scout the areas. Shit. I didn't mean to shoot that. I've never used the third knife actually. Well, I can pick up their torch. That must be them up there. I've killed. I've, I've emptied this bit before, I swear it. This is one of their hideouts. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's the stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. Oh. So sneak. No, just as approach the cave. I need to buy some more of them. I know, we're good. Uh, I'll have to throw now, with me. Silent. I've been here before, there's like an exit up there. It was a very intricate cave system.
Are you dealing with them? God, I can hear him screaming. Oh, poor darling. I'll keep you safe. Oh. You must only be a teenager. Try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. Yep. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Why? <laughs> Some folks just eat. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> oh, oh, sweetheart. What's your name? Miss? It's okay. 
Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Easy. Okay, boy. Yep, yep. Maybe ask if she needs something to eat. Easy, easy. Poor sod. That's a fucked up thing to write in, isn't it? But I suppose it's kind of historically accurate because things like that would have happened especially in a free country where law wasn't big Pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy Brew got Oh, my God. How did you manage uh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, no, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. That was Mrs. Downs, the woman Arthur made a widow. Due to Strauss's money lending to habit. She's a prostitute we saw her in Saint Denis. Poor sod. Alright, we're packing up to go. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. Took her home. Oh. You and Mike can find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. Go, Doc! Did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back you and you. drunk. The master, the Lord my God. Oh, my God. Calm me. down. I won't be ignored. George Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't even stooge. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. Spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross. I made the bank robbery. <gasps> I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, shoot me. She ain't worth it. You told on no, me. You betrayed me. Why? Calm down. Arthur? <laughs> Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Take her. <gasps> Miss Grimshaw. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Miss 
Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Get back to work. I think Arthur's kind of gathering a conscience. Chapter 6 Beaver Hollow. So we're officially in Chapter 6. There's the book. I think it's kind of like Arthur's spirit animal due to his good honour. So I think if Dutch had done it, this gang would have fallen apart, so I think in retrospect, I think what um, Miss Grimshaw did, she saved Dutch's leadership, that makes sense. I don't even think it's for the rules. Um, I think it's the fact that she could have killed everyone. Right, so this is the new camp. So I'm just gonna show you really quick. Leopold Strauss has more money lending. So we don't really have as much. We don't have the money box or anything. We've literally got a butcher and grub and that's that. No medicine, no... Who's he talking to? Nobody's listening. They won't catch me. They won't catch me. And I promise, whosoever stands by 
by my side. They won't catch you neither. They won't. Looks like I can't go and see Dutch. You okay, Reverend? Yes. I will say a prayer for Miss O'Shea. Mm-hmm. You okay? I guess. I didn't really know Molly so well. Thanks for your help. Well, secure in this lovely spot. Jesus Christ. I can't believe she bloody... She was the traitor. I swear to God, I thought it was John. I really, truly did. I thought it was John. Apparently not. But I suppose love can make you do some crazy oh, things. Can't believe that bitch Molly ratted us out. Uh, So yeah, that seems this seems to be the camp. Not as grand as it used to be, not with the same games and everyone's really pissed off about Molly. Hello. It's gonna be alright. I feel like a prisoner here. We won't be here for too long. Just need an escape plan. See before it was like everyone go make some money, go out into town. She's drunk. Pearson keeps drinking, Miss Grimshaw kept drinking. It's over, Mr. Morgan. It's all over. It's over. Perhaps not, Mr. Pearson. What a mess we made of everything. Couldn't deal with him. Just make sure it goes into the pot, not your pot. Thank you, Arthur. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Oh, Mr. Morgan, I've jotted down a few things that I think could be. Anyway, I'm just gonna go out of that. Um, so yeah, Molly was the traitor who ratted us out to the Milton and the Pinkertons while we were robbing the bank. Which, if she had not have done that, we would have been set. And Butch, I think Dutch just kind of fell out of love with Molly, and she got pissed off. Where is Abigail? That's what I'm worried about. Where's Abigail and little Jack? Good morning. Yes. How are 
Yikes. It's horrible. Have you seen inside that cave? Oh no. It's only for now. Hang in there. Whatever. Hmm, I'm just trying to make a wrap it. Jesus. Um so yeah. Now from doing this quest, it has now obviously opened up the money lending and other sins. As well as uh the Charlotte Belf whatever her name is, up at Willard's Rest, which I need to go back there. As well as Sadie Adler's quest to rescue John from prison. So Sadie asked you to meet her at Copperhead Landing, take her boat over to Siska Penitentiary and rescue John. Which is going to be quite fun. <laughs> and as well as that, obviously as we saw Mrs. Downs, so it's likely we'll be able to go back to Annersburg and go into one of the houses again. So yes, yeah, join us for the next couple episodes um, and see, well, what we do basically. Uh, again, thank you for watching. This is Belle and goodbye.